Hey everyone, it's Enfreak here, and welcome to my new channel. This is uh, where I'll be showing all my new game collection videos and stuff. I used to do them on my main channel, Nintendo Freak 888 and if you're coming over from there, uh, I appreciate it. And if you're just new to this channel, welcome as well. Uh, basically, I'm just going to show you guys what I get for as far as games go, like gaming pickups, garage sale finds, stuff like that. And uh, I got a ton of new games. Uh, my last game collection update is on my main channel, Nintendo Freak 888, and since then I've gotten so much new stuff, uh, both retail that I bought like at retail stores and mostly from garage sales. So I've decided to split this up into two different videos. Um, this video is going to be the games I basically gotten at retail stores like GameStop and uh, Best Buy, stuff like that, like brand new games. This is more new stuff. And the rest of the stuff I'll show in another video that are all my garage sale finds for the whole year. So uh, let's get started. First, I picked up Front Mission for the DS. Uh, this was used at GameStop. Uh, one of the few GameStops that I've found that still carry DS games in their actual case. And I decided to pick it up. It was like seven bucks. Uh, next, I got some 3DS games here. Loving the 3DS. Uh, Animal Crossing New Leaf. I'm a huge Animal Crossing fan. Put like a hundred hours into this already, somewhere around there. So I, I no point in me stopping right now. So love me some Animal Crossing. And then I picked up Shin Megami Tensei Devil Summoner. Uh, yeah, Devil Summoner Soul Hackers. Uh, this used to be a Saturn game, but it never came out in the states. So this is the only way to really play this game in English in the States, so that's pretty cool. And this came with the soundtrack and, yeah, just the CD. And then I picked up Project Cross Zone, the limited edition that comes with a CD and poster and art book. Uh, this game's pretty good. I, it, it's really repetitive, but I still find it pretty fun. Uh, the strategy is okay, but it's not the greatest game in the world, but it, I still had fun with it. And lastly, for my 3DS stuff, I picked up uh, this Shin Megami Tensei 4 Limited Edition uh, bundle. It comes with a big strategy guide. Uh, it's like a mini strategy guide and art book, uh, as you can see here. And it also comes with a music CD as well. So this game is fantastic. This is one of the best RPGs you can get on the 3DS, and it's just really great. You, you guys should pick this up. Uh, a couple Wii U games here, uh, not much in the way of Wii U stuff to get, uh, but there was a couple big releases. Uh, this isn't really a big release, but Game & Wario. I did a review of this on my main channel, and I'll have a link up somewhere for you guys to check that out if you want. Uh, it's basically, in short, it's half and half, really. Like, one half of the game is okay, the other half is pretty crap, so... It's disappointing, because I love WarioWare games. And uh, next is obviously Pikmin 3. This game is fantastic. It's honestly worth owning a Wii U for. I love Pikmin and Pikmin 3 is fantastic. It looks fantastic in HD and uh, the new Pikmin are pretty cool too. So definitely pick that up if you have a Wii U. Um, here's one game I just uh, decided to get after I bought Game & Wario. Uh, it was the only WarioWare game I did not own and that is WarioWare Mega Party Games on the GameCube. Uh, this is basically the original WarioWare game on the Game Boy Advance, except it has uh, new multiplayer minigame modes that are really fun. And uh, if you're having a party or something, this is a really good game to play. A couple PS3 games here. I got The Last of Us. Um, I have only played like five hours of this game so far, and I mean, it, it's got a ton of great reviews, so I'm looking forward to get back into it and uh, really just finishing off this game because uh, the story seems pretty interesting. I picked up also Near Used at a GameStop. Uh, a lot of people, this is a cult classic really, I mean it's it's fairly new but a lot of people have a cult following for this game so um, really I, I wanted to try it out and see how, it's, how it plays. And I did pick up also Injustice Gods Among Us a while back around launch. Uh, it's, a, it was, it's a really fun fighting game. Uh, I've personally gotten bored of it over time, but um, it, it was a really good game while it lasted. Next I picked up a PC game, an actual physical PC release. 
and that was Metro Last Light. If you guys know me, uh, I was a big fan of Metro 2033 on the PC, and Metro Last Light is just as good and better in most aspects than Metro 2033. So if you like 2033, I really highly recommend this game. I, I love the Metro series, so. A couple of used Wii games here I got. Uh, well, this is the only used one I bought, but I picked up Ivy the, Ivy the Kiwi. Uh, this started out as a Windows phone game, and then they brought it over to Wii and DS, and it's made by, I believe, Yuji Naka, the creator of Sonic. Um, so it had a lot of... Uh, high expectations probably from people, but it's really not anywhere near that level at all. Uh, it's still a little fun little game, but you can see that it has its like phone roots. So, and I did pick up the last game in the whole uh, Operation Rainfall thing, and that was Pandora's Tower for the Wii. Um, this is an okay game. It's not amazing. I think it's probably the worst of the three Operation Rainfall games, but it's still okay, and I'd, I'd say worth a pickup. Uh, and then I think I got this at a play and trade or something. Uh, it's Tie the Tasmanian Tiger. Uh, to be honest, I picked this up because someone requested us to do a video of it, which I still haven't done yet, and uh, yeah, I haven't even played it, so that's that. I heard some good things about that game, though. And finally, here are some PS2 games I got from GameStop. They were uh, having a buy two, get one sale, I think, for PS2 games, and I don't know if they're still having that or not, because they're trying to wipe out all their PS2 stocks. So uh, I picked up Rogue Galaxy uh, for one of my games. Uh, this is by Level 5. I love Level 5. They do some really great stuff. I have not played this yet, and I heard it's really long, so I don't know how, how much of this game I will play, but I've heard good things. And the other game I played, I need to clean this off, but um, the other one of the other games I picked up was Valkyrie Profile 2, um, Silmeria, I guess. And I have Valkyrie Profile on the PSP, I think that's a remake of the original, uh, but that one was okay, and I've heard this one is pretty decent as well, and I haven't, I haven't played this. And then finally, for the retail games I basically bought, uh, this came with the buy two get one sale. Uh, it was Katamari Damacy. I did not have this for the PS2, and I decided to pick it up. And I played it. It's crazy. It's fun. Uh, you know everything you've heard about the Katamari series. It's it's probably true. Uh, but yeah, definitely a cool game to pick up on your PS2. So that was my first game collection update on this new channel, uh, N Freak Collects. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want to check out my main channel, I'll put a link somewhere around here as well. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, and hopefully you'll stick around for some other videos.